Today I would like to talk about trading errors that happen in automated trading because sometimes very simple things can be a big problem that costs lots of time if you don't know where to look for the cause of the error. In our case we have a running expert advisor. We see that it works because it is outputting the ask price here on the chart but it doesn't trade. Now how can we avoid the most common errors? Let's have a look at this faulty source code here. We have included the trade MQH file, we have created an instance of the ctrade class and our onTick function is getting the ask price. We check if we don't have any open positions by using positions total we output the command the ask price is on a chart and that actually does work but what doesn't work is we can't open a buy trade. We have used the right syntax here and we don't see any errors and no warnings but it still doesn't trade. What could be the cause here? Well actually you have to distinguish between syntactical errors and logical errors. One of the most common syntactical errors is to forget a semicolon and if I remove it and try to compile, the compiler tells me that a semicolon was expected. But if I add the missing semicolon and compile the code, it works without any errors, but it still doesn't trade. And one of the reasons it doesn't trade might be that I have used an if statement here because if I have no open positions I want to open a buy trade but before I do that I have added another line to output the ask price. And when you use an if statement without any brackets the only thing that is affected by that if statement is the next line. So if I want it to work correctly and if I'm using more than one line in an if statement I have to add two brackets. Now let's recompile the code and it compiled without any errors and any warnings. So let's click the little button here to go back to MetaTrader and in MetaTrader I try to restart my test so now I click on start but it still doesn't trade and that is where most people become confused. One cause might be that the if statement here never is true so let's check that out by adding positions total to our command line. Let's compile the code again. Once again we have no errors so we restart our test and it still doesn't trade. But obviously the number of open positions is zero. So we use the right if statement, we have no syntactical errors, the compilation process was fine, but no open trades. To find the cause please click on view, toolbox and now you wouldn't see any change on the trade tab, no changes on the history tab, and nothing on the operations tab, but you might see something like this on a journal tab. It says we have used an invalid stop. Okay, that is helpful because now we can go back to Meta Editor, change the stop loss to 500 points, recompile the code, go back to Meta Trader, and start another test. So now it should work but it doesn't. And if we look at our journal we will still see that we are using invalid stops. But how can that be? We have just corrected our stop loss here and we have set a take profit target of 50 points. And if you would have a big source code file of several hundred lines you could look for hours before you have the idea to change the take profit value here. And after you recompile and start your test, 
Finally, you see your first trade. This error code here was definitely misleading. And things like that can drive you insane. So if you have a big source code file and you have something that doesn't work, it's always a good idea to create a little expert advisor like this that contains the faulty part and to go through the most common errors step by step. You might also see something like this. You click on start to start your backtest and everything is working fine and sometime later and a few seconds later it stops to trade. And now you will see lots of errors and when you start the new test it's working again so let's speed it up and once again it worked flawlessly but now it stopped working. That is what we call a runtime error. That means you have created an error that will only occur when you are running your expert advisor. In our case the error happened when the price fell below a value of 1. And I have forced this error to happen by using an integer variable where I should have used a variable of the type double. In this case we have zero errors but we have one warning and that warning tells us we have a possible loss of data. In our case we lost the one before the dot and once again our expert advisor will tell us that we have used invalid stops. So now I will change that and use double and that should remove the exclamation mark here when I recompile the code. So I restart and now my expert advisor works. Now you know of a few traps that could drive you insane and to avoid that please make sure that you check your journal here and if you find something like invalid stops or if your expert advisor doesn't trade please make sure to go through all the steps of this video to find the cause. Okay. Now you know how you can avoid the most common errors that can drive you insane.